Fiesta Mall was a shopping mall in Mesa, Arizona that opened in 1979 and closed in 2018. If you've clicked onto this video, then you know what today is. It's Monday, 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 Mall Madness. Every Monday I'll be releasing a new video on a defunct or maybe not so defunct mall and its history. Make sure you stick around at the very end of the videos. I'd like to see if you, the viewer, are paying attention. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you get notified of my latest mall video, defunct store, or my throwback Thursday videos. Leave a suggestion or a comment for a future video. Thanks. The development that would become Fiesta Mall was announced on October 8, 1970 by officials from the city and Sears, Roebuck & Company. Sears officials said that the company would develop the mall, which would include one of their stores through its subsidiary, Home Art Development Company. The mall was projected to cost $35 million to $55 million and encompass 1.2 to 1.4 million square feet of retail space on 120 acres. It projected to open in 1973, but by 1973, the opening date for what was at the time called the Sierra Vista Mall was listed as 1975. Development shifted to Mesa after Hallmark could not secure the land in South Tempe. The first component of the mall to open was the Sears on April 13, 1977. The store replaced the retailer's location in downtown Mesa. The Fiesta Mall officially opened on October 3, 1979 at a cost of $55 million at 1445 West Southern Avenue and was for years one of the most successful shopping centers in the Southwest. The mall opened with three anchor stores, Sears, The Broadway, and Goldwaters. The fourth anchor, Diamonds, opened on July 4th, 1980. The Fiesta Mall and other large developments in the area, such as the Desert Samaritan Hospital, were facilitated to a great extent by population growth in the Southeast Valley and the construction of the Superstition Freeway. In June of 1982, Sears Roebuck and Company sold a 50% stake in the mall to Grosvenor International. The selling price was not disclosed, but under the deal, Home Art remained as Mall's management's firm. Home Art announced plans in 1985 to grow the mall by nearly 40% from 920,000 square feet to over 1.3 million square feet. Part of the company's $50 million expansion plans included a fifth department store and an expansion to the Sears. In addition, the existing diamonds would have been converted into mall space and a new diamond store built in a three-story addition. Homart withdrew plans for the following year after several delays due to concerns about traffic and parking from the city and other developers with nearby properties. In 1986, Diamond's department store closed and reopened as Dillard's. Fiesta Mall 
Fiesta's owners finally renovated the mall in 1989, doing away with the orange and brown color scheme of the 1970s and installing skylights. In 1989, Goldwaters closed and reopened as J.W. Robinson's. Four years later, it would become Robinson's May. In 1996, Broadway closed and reopened as Macy's. In 1996, By the early 1990s, Fiesta Mall was at the pinnacle of its success. It was at the commercial hub of the East Valley and ranked within the top 15 percentile of regional malls in the nation in sales. In its heyday, Fiesta Mall was the center of the universe for the East Valley. That's how Mesa Mayor John Giles had put it, situated on the west edge of the city by US 60 and Elma School Road. Fiesta Mall was the premier shopping spot for decades. In 1993, as many as a dozen companies were vying to purchase Fiesta, LMB Real Estate Consult Dallas, a commercial real estate investment firm, bought the mall for $124 million in December of that year. Citing continuing robust population growth in the Southeast Valley, the owners announced new plans for a major expansion that once again included a fifth anchor store. Fiesta Mall started showing early signs of trouble in terms of shrinking customer traffic in the late 1990s. When Arizona Mills opened in the neighboring city of Tempe in 1997, the mall officials saw an initial decline in shoppers. Fiesta's management said the change was short-lived after initial interest in the new mall peaked. When the Chandler Fashion Center opened on October 17, 2001, about eight miles away from Fiesta, the mall suffered its first sustained revenue drop due to the competing mall. Local analysts noted that the mall faced significant obstacle as a future competitor in the local retail market. They reported decreasing sales and difficulty attracting top tier stores due to increasing competition from newer shopping centers and changing demographics. The study also noted recent increases in crime and gang activity in the immediate area surrounding the mall. The Fiesta Mall was acquired by Westcore for $135 million in 2004, a time when the center appeared to be showing significant signs of decline. In 2006, the mall lost one of its four anchors following the merger between Macy's and Robinson's May. The vacated anchor was split into a Best Buy and Dick's Sporting Goods. The mall's sales continued to dwindle following the economic recession. And the opening of the Mesa Riverview and the Tempe Marketplace in 2007. During this time, reported crime at the mall continued to increase. In 2007, Mesa police reported a jump in gang activity at Fiesta, although mall officials denied there was a rise. Police officials said calls for service increased about 71% from 2005 to 2007. On March 31, 2008, a man stabbed two mall patrons, including one fatally. Authorities said the suspect had links to gangs and had a history of mental health issues. In 2009, Dillard's converted itself to a clearance center. In March of 2013, the mall was appraised at $39.5 million, a 72% decline from what it's worth in 2004. In September of that year, Westcore turned over Fiesta Mall to its lenders due to imminent default relating to potential tenancy issues. The mall seemed to be on a downward spiral. By 2016, only 35 businesses were still operating at the mall, which had more than 100 tenant spaces.
Macy's closed in early of 2014, sparking fears over the mall's possible demise. You know it's bad when Macy's, of all companies, closes its doors at the mall. Both Dick's Sporting Goods and Best Buy closed in 2016. The writing was on the wall. The mall was all but abandoned at this point. On January 28, 2018, the mall's first and original anchor, Sears, closed. On January 27, 2018, the mall closed permanently, except for Dillard's Clearance Center. Dillard's would later close its doors in September of 2019, about a year and a half later. The Phoenix-based Dimension Financial and Realty Investments purchased a property in 2017 for $7.7 .7 million and said it would spend up to $30 million transforming the space into a higher education campus. That idea never was executed. One of the obstacles confronting any repurposing project was the number of other developers besides Dimension owning a portion of the property. According to reports, as many as five developers had a stake in the property, a number that has since decreased to two. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hotshot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer was seven, give yourself a hand. You are actually paying attention. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.